What's up guys, it's your boy the Piscean Predator Back with another one of these uh, TPP True Crime Talks um, Today we're going to cover um, by request Actually I had somebody request down in the comments um, That I would cover the Monterey Park shooting And as of right now, there isn't 100% fact on the motive Like they're still not sure about the motive We just know details of what happened um, 72 year old gentleman Asian gentleman with a looks like to be um, what they're saying is a homemade silencer went with the automatic gun to a dance studio where there was you know Chinese New Year celebrations going on you know there was a local park that had an all-day celebration for the Lunar New Year going on um, but anyways this gentleman came in and opened fired on the dance studio he ended up a total killing 11 people and injuring nine others crazy man now what's what's crazier is the fact that that wasn't he wasn't done he was gonna go to a whole nother dance studio and do the same thing the exact same thing so he's gonna hit a whole nother dance studio in another uh city that was wasn't too far away and he was gonna unload again now what had happened is when he showed up to that dance location that dance studio um, as he was making his entrance to the dance studio, it, it looks, they have it on camera, and it looks like he might have been um, messing with the silencer with the gun. More than likely, it was homemade. It might have malfunctioned or, or was, you know, was broken during the first shooting. But anyways, as he's coming in and he's trying to put that silencer on, and the metal clanks. And one of the gentlemen that was in the dance studio heard it, heard the door open and was making his way. And as he was making his way, he heard the metal clink. And as he got to the the suspect, he, he realized, you know, what was going on. And he froze at first and he wasn't sure what to do. And then the um just he, he's given interviews and he just said something came over him and he lunged at the gun and, and tied up with the suspect for the gun. He ended up getting the gun away from him and telling the suspect, you know, the, the gunman to leave, just you know, like he was I mean, what else are you gonna do, dude? You know, I mean, I myself would hope that I would be in enough state of mind to where I could hold him at, at gunpoint until officers show up. Um, because allowing him to leave, well, he got away and then later killed himself. So now we, we can interrogate him, find out exactly what's going on. But there are reports coming out. There are reports coming out. Um, they had an individual spokesman from the Asian community that came out like a couple hours after this had happened and said something about... The dance studio had put on you know parties like this in the past and that the, the individual that puts on the parties he individually invites people like and if you don't get invited you can't come and there were speculations that maybe that this person's wife had been invited and he hadn't um and now the other thing that's coming out too um from law enforcement actually is there's law enforcement claiming that this individual had come in and put in reports trying to say that his family was poisoning him now, if we step back and look at this, all right, older Asian gentleman who may be suffering from mental health issues, believes that his family's trying to kill him, um, he makes a homemade silencer and goes to a dance hall and opens fire on people, leaves, goes to a whole nother dance hall farther away to do the exact same thing. Um... This this has mental health written all over it, man. It is uh, it's all bad. Uh, I'll be interested to see more and more details coming out. But this, like I said, I, I don't know if there's some great point this gentleman was trying to make. I think he was honestly just mentally in, mentally ill individual. Um, it's sad. There's a lot of people like that, but old age, mentally ill. Po there's no telling what type of treatment. Maybe he was being treated badly we don't know there's just like literally no good information coming out to really give you know law enforcement or anybody looking at the case any ideas of a, of a true motive but i'm just going to go out on a limb and you know, when people start talking about you know like my family's trying to kill me this and that well it's small percentage maybe your family trying to kill you very very small percentage very very small but reality is when you start feeling like, you know, the government or your family or, you know, strangers are out to get you, it's usually, usually signs of mental health issues. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm interested. I'm keeping an eye out on all this. It's here in my home state, so I'd really like to know, you know, what, what's going on with this case and, you know, the reasons and the whys. Especially considering that a couple of days after this shooting, another shooting, very similar type of shooting, um, a very similar Asian, older Asian gentleman up in um, uh, Half Moon Bay. Uh, yeah, he pulled a mass shooting as well, and I'm going to probably do a video on that. But uh yeah guys that's as much as i know about this monterey uh park shooting and super sad prayers and love respect to all the, the family and the victims um and dude we need to get this mental health situation checked in america it's it's uh it's what's driving all this all right guys much love peace